art obliterates time. Ask any writer where the time goes when he is writing. You asked for inspiration, and it often comes from peering deep into the darkness, knowing only that there is a flicker of light for you to find and nurture into a flame. Each of you have sought inspiration from Cecilia, and you shall have it. Hurry now. The curtain rises. So we're doing the story of Saint Cecilia, a remarkable story of a young woman in the second century in the time of Rome. And there's all this artistic activity. The story looks at Cecilia as the patron saint of music, a muse of sorts. I could tell just her story and that would be enough, but how do I expand this into inspiration throughout the centuries? So I had this idea and I bring these diverse characters from different times and places. Dryden, Handel, Benjamin Fisk from the present, Moderno who does the statue. So now they're in a place together outside of time and space where they're gonna witness the life of, of St. Cecilia. I am Cecilia, the one for whom you search. Cecilia is the patroness of music, also known as the Muse of Muses. Well, I think what's really interesting about uh, Cecilia becoming the patron saint of, of music and musicians and artists in general is that she was given the gift of singing and she was true to the gift. Why are you always at odds with Roman thinking? Why is Roman thinking always at odds with me? A young girl who has a talent for singing and is inspired in the way that she sings um, to practice a faith and the whole, the rest of the world and as she knows it, the society around her and her family do not encourage that. Cecilia, what have you done? Why do you talk to our gods? Nothing good will come from this. For the sake of your life, our lives, you must do your duty. She walks towards the, the, the fate of that and her destiny with a real grace and dignity. Full acceptance of knowing that to carry out her faith would be, would, does mean death. I am a Christian. Is it worth your life? It is more than my life. We will make a show of allowing her to go home as if I am being compassionate. Execute her there. Behead her, Prefect? Yes. In the bath, where you failed before. Cecilia's story does not end even with her death. It clearly goes on in the way she inspired all these artists. We should aspire to be inspired towards beauty, truth, goodness, virtues, and rendering those in art so that, that proclaims the glory of God. Can inspiration be killed? Can it be entombed in a sepulchre? While he lives and breathes his creativity into us, then inspiration cannot be killed. Bury me among my brothers and sisters in Christ. Perhaps Valerian and I will sing from our tombs. Our voices breaking through the stone. Perfect praise of God. Thank you.